Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. Hey guys, Hi. welcome to our channel. Hi guys, and welcome back to a new, new video. video. Happy Vlogmas 18. Look at our Christmas tree. Yes, happy Vlogmas, guys. Yeah. Welcome back to a new video. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe and button and turn on your post notification uh, bell. And don't give this forget video a big our love. And Alara, we're going on Walmart. So we are about Thumbs to up. head out. I'm going. I have a pickup, a grocery pickup order at Walmart, and yeah, I just wanted to kind of get this day started. Happy vlog this day. Happy vlogmas. Happy vlogmas. So guys, are you guys enjoying our vlogmas videos? Hey guys, I guys, guess what? We have two Christmas trees. My Christmas tree and mommy's tree right there. And and my That's tree. our Christmas tree. No. Well, I'm not going in. It's just a pickup order. But I wanted to do, show you guys everything that I got. Kind of like a little mini grocery haul. Although it's like a very mini, mini, mini grocery haul. Because we are actually leaving town. We're going to Florida. Um next weekend this coming weekend so in like four days we're going to florida so i just wanted to get some basic stuff that we really needed while we're still here but i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna show you everything that we get that i got it's just a couple things i'm gonna be making some stuff here and there nothing crazy i just figured i could include it in today's content if you guys have a local walmart near you I definitely recommend doing a grocery pickup order. I cannot remember the last time that I went to Walmart or a grocery store and did a full-on grocery shopping trip because mm -hmm. this is so much easier. It's so convenient, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom. If you have kids and you don't want to take them in the store now with COVID, oh my God, it's literally like a blessing. Um, you literally just go on their app. I'm like talking about them as if like, you know, I'm sponsored or anything, but I'm not. I just wanted to share this with you guys because if you don't know this, you need to know this. So convenient. Um, so yeah, you just, they have a, the Walmart app and you can pick like the grocery pickup. Okay, and if you have one near you, you can like set the date and the time you want to do your pickup order and then you just shop away everything you want from the store and you park in a parking spot at Walmart and you put it in on the app on the parking spot number that you parked in and they bring it right out to you. You don't have to get out. They put it right in your trunk for you. It is literally amazing, guys. Um, like I said, not sponsored whatsoever or nothing. I just wanted to really tell you guys um, because it is so convenient. Oh my God, it's so cool. Okay, it's so convenient for everybody. You know, like if you didn't know about that, now you know, get it done. You don't ever have to go in Walmart again. So you can only get groceries and a couple little things like baskets, uh, baking pans and stuff. Like you can't really get everything else of Walmart, only like more of the grocery side. But yeah, that I would let you guys know that neat tip if you didn't know that already which I'm sure everybody knows but just in case you didn't know get on that because that is the new the new way I just got back um, from picking up the groceries and I actually went ahead and picked up some chick-fil-a for lunch for me and the girls um, I'm gonna go ahead and give them some insulin this is currently blood sugars so I'm actually gonna wait to correct Alana and I'm gonna go ahead and correct Aaliyah. So I get from Chick Fil A. I get them. You have to get I get them the diet lemonade, and then I get them a six count nugget yes. meal with French fries. And then for myself, I get the Cobb salad with no corn with the avocado lime ranch, guys, and it is so freaking good. What it looks like, if you guys can see. And then the avocado lime ranch is the best part about this. It's so good. Wait, good. Good. Um, so Alana actually just straightened out, so she's not dropping anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and correct her as well. Mm 
Look at Miss Alara, just sitting here, patiently waiting for Mama to come get her. Patiently waiting. She's such a good baby. She's such a good baby. I was trying to get the girls to make sure they, um, because they'll start eating, so I had to make sure I correct them first. And this one's just chilling here, waiting for Mama to come get her, all by herself in the corner. <laughs> she is so stinking cute, guys. I'm obsessed. I have all my groceries laid out so I can go through with you guys. Like I said, this is a mini grocery order that I did because we are leaving town. So I just got what I needed for the next couple of days that we're here and just stuff that will stay good while we're gone. A little bit of what we get in our household, what we eat. Um, yeah. So for starters, girl's favorite snack right here, um, sugar-free jello. We have a pack of bread. We just regular bread. This is for me and Anthony, really, because the girl's PBJs. We get the Uncrustables. Um, I have a grater here because I am making something, a recipe with it. I have some sugar-free whipped cream. The girls love this with their jello, with strawberries, just by itself. Um, I also use it for my coffee. I have some salad. And then I actually loved these um, Market Side Caesar chopped salad kits. They are the best. Ginger ale, the only soda that we drink. I absolutely love ginger ale. It helps me so much like when I feel gassy or just stomach ache. I always drink ginger. ginger, ginger. I always drink some ginger. I, we always drink some ginger ale. So I always have some at home. Um, I have some key lime juice. This is for a recipe that I'm making. Let's see if you guys can guess what I'm making based off of things that I have. So this goes with this. I have some butter, some Irish butter, um, some cream cheese, also for the recipe. I, ha I get these for the girls. Um, they love cheese sticks, or yeah, cheese, string cheese, the cheese sticks. And then this is for me. I have an obsession with charcuterie boards, and I just love to eat, um, you know, deli meats with crackers and jelly and honey. It's my favorite thing. And like cream cheese, guys, it's so good. I have peanut butter, we can never go, we can never have too much peanut butter. Some sour cream, um, some avocados. I normally am stocked in avocados, but because like I said, we are leaving town, so I only got two. Um, I'll probably be using one for myself and then one for Alara's food. I have the two good two grams of sugar yogurt. This is the girls' only yogurt that they eat. They love it. I've been having these lately. I only got one because, like I said, I'm leaving, but I am gonna like bulk order these next time. These are so good. If it ever focuses. These are acai bowls, um, and they have them pre frozen. And when you open it, it comes, there's like a little packet with the granola bars and then the fruits and stuff. It's so yummy. You just thaw it out in the fridge or overnight, however you like, if you like it frozen or really like liquidy. But guys, so good from Walmart. I got some sweet potatoes this is for Alara's food, and then I have these ahi tuna, frozen ahi tuna, guys. So freaking good! I love, I love, I love fish. So I love sushi, and I always get tuna sushi. And then I recently found these at Walmart, and so good, guys. You just thaw them out in the fridge, and then you can just like, if you put them in a skillet and just, you know, crisp the outsides, like bake the outsides, and leave the inside raw, and it is. It is so good. We have some french fries here. I love these fries. They taste just like McDonald's fries, in my opinion. Got some turkey bacon here. We don't, I don't buy regular bacon because I think it's really gross. Just the whole pork concept is really gross to me. But, you know, I do have it every here and there, but I, I would never buy it for my house, period. So we do use turkey bacon. Um, turkey burgers as well. And... I have some powdered sugar here, also for a recipe, guys. And I have a pie crust, also for a recipe, guys. Can you guess what I'm making? Um, and then some condensed milk, which is also for the recipe. We have oat milk. Love oat milk. This is I drink the oat milk. The girls and Anthony don't like it. Um, he says it has Anthony says it has a weird flavor, but honestly, I think oat milk tastes the best out of all the milks, and not to mention that it helps with my milk production. And then almond milk. This is what Anthony and the girls always drink with their cereal and with their shakes and stuff, or just in general, they like almond milk. I get the unsweetened original because it only has one gram of carb per cup, so super low carb. And then we have a cookie kit here you know for the big fat man in Christmas I got these I it's funny because I actually thought that these were something else and they're actually applesauce pouches so maybe Alara will like these I don't know but I thought they were um little cracker things for Alara but they're actually pouches so 
We have blueberry and applesauce. And then we have these uh, dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets. Um, these are actually so freaking good. My sister-in-law put me on these. They are bomb. Um, yeah, the girls love these. This is one of the only chicken nuggets they like. And like I said, turkey burgers. Um, I Guys, these are so freaking good. Me and Anthony eat these all the time. I could literally replace all my meats with this. Um, and then I have some chicken wings here. You guys can see I love chicken. I love putting chicken wings in the air fryer. They come out so bomb. Eventually, one one day, one day. Let me let me phrase it right. One day, I would like to. Um, I don't want to say vegan because I don't think I could ever be vegan. But I would like to cut um, dairy and meat out of my out of our lifestyles. It's just hard because that's what we grew up with. Like, I grew up that. I am from Brazil, and meat is like my parents all about meat. They eat meat every single night. I've ate meat every single night my whole life. So it's just very normal to us. As I've grown older and learned my preferences, I I just don't like animal cruelty. Um, but it's hard. Like I said, like, you know, I wish I had the drive or motivation, I guess, to just cut it out completely. But I don't. Um, I still eat meat here and there. Um, I do, I have cut pretty much pork out of my diet completely. Very rarely I will have pork. Um, I avoid bacon at all costs pork meats ribs all those meats from porks I just have it occasionally at family occasions because that's normally all there is I have decided to stick to white meats and I actually had I actually did it for four months straight so well I only had white meat I only had turkey and chicken I did so well and I actually lost a couple pounds and then I fell back on the meat train and I actually gained weight and feel so bloated and I actually want to start again when the year starts over um no red meat again no just chicken and turkey like I've been doing because I love chicken you can you can have chicken in so many different ways it's amazing you guys see I only buy chicken and white meat I don't I only buy white meat meats um only chicken turkey those are the only ones you stick to here at home if any of you guys are vegetarian or vegan and you have any advice for me on how to dedicate myself to it completely please leave a comment down below because it is so hard to transition um i've been trying for a while but as far as dairy products it's very hard but like i said i don't drink um i don't drink cow milk i think it's so gross that's a start Water is chilling guys my house is a mess am i the only one that I clean my house every day, like to the point where it is spotless, and then by midday the next day it is trashed again. Like, it is so stressful, but I guess that's just, it's just life, it's normal, it's something you just have to deal with when you have kids, I guess. Uh, la, 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 la. Like I said, guys, we are traveling out of town this coming weekend, so I have what? Yeah, so I have a lot to do. I have a lot of packing, cleaning, and laundry to catch up before we leave. I would like to have the house spotless before we leave. So that when we get back, it's clean, all the laundry is done, and all that good stuff. When I planned to do Vogmas, I completely forgot that we were going out of town. So right now, I'm playing like a catch-up game. I'm really trying to just have videos pre-recorded so I can post each day while we're out of town. That way, um, I'm not... So that my head isn't going crazy, and I'm trying to vlog, edit, and post every single day that I'm there, and I can enjoy time with my family instead with my mom and you know just go to all the girls doctors appointments and stuff that we need to do i am going to go ahead and close out here i hope you guys enjoyed this little mini um grocery haul if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know um i would like to do one dedicated to the girls eventually stuff that we buy just for them specifically obviously because you know they have type 1 diabetes guys so they we don't follow a strict diet with them lala We don't follow a strict diet with them, but we do um, specific things in order to, you know, maintain um, a well diet, I would say. We don't do a specific diet, like low carb or anything, but we do follow a diet with them. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see anything else like this, leave a comment down below. Happy Vlogmas, guys. Today's post notification shout out goes to Sarah Moran. Happy holiday, Sarah. Thank you for showing us love and supporting us and commenting down below. Oh, Alar is not happy right now guys if anybody else like a post notification shout out to do is like this video subscribe to our YouTube channel turn on your post notifications and leave a comment when you are done thank you guys so much for watching happy vlogmas and we'll see you guys tomorrow bye, bye.